hi everyone it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back again with another tutorial now today I'm actually really pleased with how these have turned out and basically what they are is a, a bookmark but I suppose it serves two purposes um, I've made a beautiful vellum sleeve for them and they just slide out and you've got your uh, bookmark there and then I've also embellished these paper clips so you could actually leave it on there or the person could use that for something else and I've just heat embossed this flower here I've glued a little button there and all I did was I just glued the paper clip with a hot glue gun <clears throat> excuse me to the back of the flower and then I just hot glued a um, circle to hide to hide the glue inside and that's how they're done it's really really easy and these are a larger paper clip I think they measure about oh, um, I'll get a an empty one in a minute and I'll measure them but yeah that's what I've done and I've just done them in different designs and I've got the lovely little vellum sleeve there and I've just popped a little clip and some jewels on there so I'll just quickly show you the designs I did this was using the um oh damn lift me up and I've just heat embossed a couple of them on and I've made a clip with one of the hot air balloons and I just um, glued another little circle on the back so I would recommend a hot glue gun for this though and then I've just actually stamped but you can't really see I've stamped some clouds and the sentiment onto the vellum so that's that one just to give you some ideas this one is using the pop of paradise I've heat embossed the flamingo and the big flower uh, the leaf I just fussy cut that out I heat embossed it with copper and that's just the same uh, principle and I've stamped a sentiment onto there from um, oh dear me what do you call it I can't remember <laughs> garden in bloom I think this one is using the leaf um, stamp set uh, vintage leaves and again I've just made a clip out of the big leaf um, just put some little embellishments on and I've um, heat embossed the sleeve and the last one I've used flourishing phrases heat embossed the flower and um, fussy cut that out because I don't have the matching uh, dies for this and again I've just stamped a sentiment and put a little enamel shape and I think they're absolutely beautiful they look so elegant they really really do and what I've done as well just to give you some more examples is I've just made some random ones which you can use for anything you like and I'm using one for my little notebook just to keep my page for you know me little projects I make you can use them for anything you want so that's what we're going to make today now you're going to need for your sleeve a piece of vellum which is five and a half by six and a half inches and I've already prepped some little pieces here so the back of the bookmark I'm making this in real red and it needs to measure two and a quarter by six inches I've got a piece of very vanilla to sit on the top and this measures two by five and three quarters now I've made my clip already which is the jar of love um, and what I've done is the little hearts I'll show you you get you get this with it and I've just cut them out with the send and love DSP and I just glued them on but I also um, popped some glossy accents on the top which makes them look like kind of enamel 
and again I've just glued the clip onto the back with a glue gun and I've just stuck a um, circle over the back of that so they're really easy basically just cut your shape out plop some hot glue in the middle stick the paper clip down hold it down till it's dry and then just glue whatever you want over the back to, to make it look a bit neater that's all so that's that now I'm going to use jar of love stamp set and we're gonna get a bit of scrap <clears throat> and what I want to do is I'm going to stamp the largest jar here and I'm going to do some flowers coming out now I want to heat emboss the jar with gold to um, I don't know I just thought it would look nicer so that's what we're going to do first so I've got my embossing buddy just wipe it over uh, Versamark and the jar and just ink, ink it up and then I'm just going to stamp it on here like so got some gold powder here there we go and then we'll just quickly heat set our jar off you can probably hear Uri the budgie again you can hear me making a racket so he decides he wants to make a racket <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna heat set the jar think that looks really nice heat embossed so that's that done and then oh no I need that actually <clears throat> so I've got some of these little stamps mounted from Jar of Love and I've got some pear pizzazz and rose red and I'm just going to make like a little display of the flowers and leaves okay so just wherever you fancy there we go that looks really pretty and I mean we might not fit many in to be honest because it's only a small little bookmark there we go and then I might just see if I can get another one of these in And 
and what I'm going to do as well is I don't actually think I'm going to put any flowers on it but what I am going to do is you've got this bit here which is supposed to be the water so I'm going to whoops I'm just going to pop this on a block and I'm going to take some soft sky just ink that up and I'm just going to stamp this in the bottom of the jar and then it makes it look like it's in water then and let's see if we can get no actually I'm not I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want the video to go on forever so you can add anything you want onto here you know the choice is entirely yours and I think what I will add is what I did on the small jar is the little bow here so I'm just going to mount this onto a block and I'm going to take the rose red just ink it up and I'm just going to stamp it at the top of the jar there we go I think that looks really pretty so there is the basis of our bookmark and then I'm going to take corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners of the bookmark like so and then this one um, I know this is retired now but you can use anything you want or you don't even have to use anything but I am I'm just going to punch some fancy little shapes out I love this punch I'll never ever get rid of it never <laughs> there we go and that just uh, makes it look a bit more fancy And then that is going to get stuck onto our red base here so we will just use a bit of fuse for that and I think these would make fantastic teacher gifts I really do especially you know you're going to present them in a a beautiful vellum sleeve I do think they would make brilliant teacher gifts I know that's what I'll be given to my daughter's teachers um, when they break up <clears throat> for the holidays I'll definitely be giving them one of these so we've already made our little clip so our clip can just happily sit on there and I just think it looks so sweet it really does now we're going to make this, we're going to do something slightly different with this, but we're going to score it first. So, take your scoreboard or whatever you're using, and you want to pop this in on the short side first, okay? And, where's my, use this one. And then what you want to do is you want to score on the short side at five and no at two and a half and five. So on the short side we're going to score at two and a half. 
and five. Okay, turn it to the long side and you're going to score at half an inch. Dead simple, that's what you'll have, okay? Now, what we're going to do first off is we're going to just give it a fold and burnish so we know which is the front, which is the back, etc. So just be careful when you're folding it because it's so easy to go off the score lines. And this vellum is stamping up vellum and it is amazing. It's just so thick, it's unbelievable. I've never used a vellum as thick. I mean, I'm sure I've said that loads of times, but it is, it's amazing stuff. So we're scoring on our lines here. There we go. Now, that's going to fold round there and it's going to get glued to here. So that is going to be the front. And I've just slightly gone off the score line, but never mind. Like I say, just be really careful. Take your time and get the score right. So what we need to do is the side this side here, not the one with the little square, just the straight rectangle. What you want to do is just cut it away. But when you cut, <clears throat> just cut above the score line. So you're giving yourself a little bit of room when you're going to fold it. So as you can see there, I've cut above the score line. And then just take a little wedge out of there and then you're going to completely remove this square as well okay and also we're going to take a little piece out the top corner and that's that dead simple and all you'll do is we'll just put glue on there glue this and glue on there because it's gonna I'll show you how it's gonna fold round just like that and then that will go around there and if you leave if you cut a bit of it away like I said it won't catch when you <clears throat> when you're folding it round okay but what I want to do is this is going to be the front of my uh, vellum sleeve now I came up with this idea just before taking the I've got the window box thinlets here and using this one with the little heart what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, I'm going to line it up and I think I'll probably get maybe three and it's going to leave a lovely cut out so that you can see, you know, your lovely bookmark from the inside. So we'll get the big shot and I'll show you what I mean. I'll probably just cut one and do the others off camera. So get the big shot and I've got the magnetic platform on and then just pop your bookmark on, okay? And then let me get this the right way. So I want the first one about there. Just try and get it nice and level. And because the vellum's been folded, it's a bit tricky to get it to stay flat so you could tape it if you're having uh, a bit of problem but you want to get it nice and straight as straight as you can it's going to be a pain in the bum so I think what I'm going to do is just get some low tack tape and I'm going to have to tape tape it on because it's just going to move so get it where you're happy and just tape it down. This is scotch removable tape that I use. It's fantastic stuff. Does that look straight? No, it doesn't. 
maybe um, pop it this way to get it straight and then turn it around to pop it in the machine there we go so we're going to run this through and I think this will create a really nice effect and then just back the other way and there we go it just cuts out really fancy little shape you could also use some of the medallion thinlets if you've got the new eastern medallion um, bundle so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to keep I think I'll probably get about three on I think I'll do three so I'm going to run it through there and then there and I'll be back when that's done right there we go we've cut our beautiful shapes out so now it's time to pop it together but before we do that I've got a one inch circle and I'm just going to cut a small little finger hole just like that to help I just think it's you know ensures people can get the bookmark out properly so I want to piece some uh, some tumble down here so just a little bit of tumble and then just fold it over like so and then just keep pressing that down like that okay and then you also want a piece on the bottom and then you want some glue on the bottom and then again just the same just keep going over that a little bit with your finger and it will press the glue out and it sticks really well so there you have a gorgeous little vellum sleeve and all that's left to do is to slide our little bookmark in and I think that just looks so pretty and then I think what I'll do is I've got some little red enamel shapes and I'm just gonna um, where am I gonna put them hmm I don't know I think I will put a little heart I'll take this out actually I'm going to put a little red heart just up here yeah one there which I think looks really sweet and you can decorate them with you know whatever you want it's entirely up to you but I really am pleased with how these have turned out I really am I just think they look so elegant so I hope you know it's given you some ideas inspiration and I think they would be fab for um, teachers gifts like I said before because uh, they really do look so elegant and quite professional as well you know if, if I saw this in the shop I'd happily buy it I, I think they're so different as well because you don't really see bookmarks like this in the shops do you you know so there we go and also another quick thing what you could do is I've just left mine plain but you could actually put some more card on like I have on the front and you could write a sentiment or stamp a nice message on you could do other things as well so there we go all the info will be on my blog so I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll be back again on Wednesday with another tutorial so until then take care and bye for now